So my name is Douglas White, we're at Georgia Institute of Technology and I am a graduate student in biomedical engineering. Ultimately I want to understand what sort of processes make stem cells do what they do, differentiate and turn into all the adult cells in the human body. I'm originally from Seattle, Washington. I did my undergrad at the University of Washington. My family is from Washington State. I'm really curious about everything going on around me all the time. So I love to read. I loved playing with Legos when I was a kid, and I love to build things. And the building blocks of the human body really are stem cells. So I became fascinated with them as soon as I learned about them in college, and I wanted to work with them as much as possible to try and understand how they work, how we can harness their potential for ultimately curing or helping to diagnose or providing screening platforms for debilitating diseases, particularly Alzheimer's. I have a lot of family members who have suffered from that disease and it's really debilitating to watch people just slowly slip away from you and lose their memory. So even though the research that I do isn't directly linked to that, it provides some of the basic building blocks for researchers to try and combat some of these diseases. Typically in the lab, I do a lot of cell culture because embryonic stem cells require a lot of maintenance in terms of passaging the cells because they grow quite rapidly and then culturing them in, in long periods of time. There's a, a lot of time spent in the hood to make sure that you have enough cells for larger experiments. My personal goal has always been to try and understand science at a fundamental level. And so in the case of stem cells, I really want to understand what makes them tick. How do they operate? And so my research has really been focused on trying to use computers to help me figure out simple ways in which stem cells could interact that ultimately give rise to complex morphologies, so different tissue types, different cell types, that sort of stuff. It's a pretty narrow field in terms of who's actually doing work on this topic right now. We've developed a really cool method that's pretty transparent for people to understand. So hopefully within the year, um, a lot more biologists will have developed and utilized the technique. Even though each individual person has their own project, you really have the freedom to go talk to someone else, to ask them about a particular technique. Everyone is willing to share. The collaborative environment is absolutely amazing. There's constant advances being made. And being part of ultimately coming up with a technology that you see affect someone's life in a positive way, there's really nothing else like that in the world. That's something that you, know, you can't really get anywhere else.